part of the BTCC regulations is every car that runs in the championship must be run in this Myra wind tunnel. We've just been here today with the, the new G23 series to set the uh, rear downforce, which we then put onto the race car. First time I've seen the, the new 3 Series in the flesh, I've seen lots of pictures and um, artists' impression of what the, the race car is going to look like. We have finally decided where it is now is the final position. After several different permutations of rear wing position, we will then have enough information to make the mounting brackets to mount it to the bootleg. And so the rule is maximum, it's got to be roof line. And what about the back? Really nice to actually be involved with the project from, from the get-go and have some input in the design work with, with the engineers, but to actually come and see it in the flesh and, and see it, you know, it's real now and can't wait to get out. This one's nearly finished, probably another day or two and that's going to be off, there's just some details to tidy up. Over there we've got the second show. Four days ago that had no tubes inside it and that's now halfway along. They'll soon be finishing the, the tubes inside that one, so that one's probably two weeks away. Then over here, this is the next one that's going on, so probably in a couple of days when this one comes off, that one's going to go on. Third shell, probably another three or four weeks, four weeks, probably get that one completed. I'm still designing bits at the moment to go in there, so we're a bit on a wing and a pair, trying to get bits out quicker than Willie can put them in the shells. We've started manufacturing before the design's finished, so we have to take a lot of lines in the sand, take some guesses early and start manufacturing, and then finish up with details coming in, so I've got Willie who's trying to finish the shells, shouting at me for drawings for bits which aren't ready yet. Body shells really coming along, you know, I'm, I was, it's always the big, the big bit of the car that's a big worry, it's a big long lead time. That's about where it is at the moment. We all love British touring cars and how close it is and it, it starts with work like this on, on new cars and getting all the downforce and drag very similar, so um, yeah, I don't really know what it means and how it transpires to lap time, but it's, um, yeah, I think they're all pretty happy with how it worked out and it's part of TOCA, what we have to do to, to make it as equal as possible. Every little detail we can find on the car to help improve the downforce on track is well worth the effort here. <laughs> My engineer John has been doing a lot of the interior design on wheel position, gear stick position and it's nice to have a bit of an input. I think it looks lovely, I think as a race car it's going to look really, really smart. Obviously the, the one difference is the size difference compared to the one series and um, yes it's a bit bigger but actually doesn't, it looks a lot more compact in the flesh than I thought it would. So um, yeah, exciting times.